good day guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to teach you how to use keypad with arduino okay if you look at the screen you will see our setup here this is a this is a this is the keypad here this is a four by three which is four row and three column we also have four by four keypad which is four row and four column but the one that i'm making use of here in this simulator is four by three since is what we have here so then i'm going to show you how this thing works then i will go to the arduino ide and explain the code to you so this is our virtual terminal that we are going to use to display the what information that we are getting from this keypad so if you want to make use of this virtual terminal all you have to do is just to go to over here you can see where the where the right virtual instrument mode just click on it and this is virtual terminal just click on it and place it and then watch the connection here this is our transmitter which is ts and this is our ros which is our receiver and this virtual terminal also have ros and ts so make sure that the ts of the arduino is connected to the ros so that if the arduino can they can communicate the arduino will transmit through its transmitter which is ts and this virtual terminal will receive it through the uh, ros receiver so make sure you connect the ts of the arduino to the ros of this virtual terminal and then connect the ts of this virtual terminal to the ros of the arduino so that the two of them can communicate together okay so that is how this connection is done so then let me show you uh, what is going on so let me burn the code i, I also have the code uh, in this arduino ide then after i show you what is going on then i'm going to show you i'm going to take you to the arduino ide and explain the code to you so let's simulate and see what is going on <coughs> so we are going to watch how to take how the arduino takes the input of this keypad you can see where how this keypad is labeled this is how the keypad is labeled okay so there what is going on why is this thing countering danger so let's simulate and see what is going on so let's wait so this is our virtual terminal so i'm going to press a key here so when i press one let's see what happens you see it is displaying here if i press two if i press five nine nine then press ash press zero you can see that the arduino is displaying what we are pressing from this keypad okay so that is it all about this this session so let's let me take you to the arduino ide and explain the code to you so let me just do that so look at the code here this is the code for the for the keypad so just like always just like we did in lucd we have to include the the keep uh, the library so this is the keypad library this uh, library is where we are going to make use of some of the functions that we use to communicate with the keypad so this is ash include keypad.h just like before that i showed you how to how to see some of the functions of any library that you are, you are making use of so i'm going to repeat what i did in the lucd uh, lesson so let's go to the arduino ide uh, let's go to the arduino libraries so this is the arduino libraries you can see this is the keypad okay this this is the keypad this is the lucd so we are making use of the keypad so let's open the keypad and this is the keypad.h this is the the file that we just included in our in our arduino ide okay so let's see what is in what some of the functions in this uh, in this keypad.h but before that let's look at this keyword let's see some of the keywords of these functions so i'm going to open it and let's see some of the keywords okay so if you look at it you see some of the keyword that uh, some of the keyword that the, that comes with this uh, library so this is it some of the keyword is get key 
you can see where they write uh, keywords okay so but i'm going to come out come out from this so let's go to the the main file that we just included in the arduino ide okay so this is the main file right this is the person that wrote this library and these are some of the some of the things that is going on in the background just like the way i showed in the lcd lesson so let's see some of these functions here see this is these are the functions that that is uh, that this uh, keypad is making use of so different functions to communicate with the keypad okay so these are these are those uh, functions you can see it so that is that is it about keypad and libraries so let's go back to arduino ide so i will explain the code better okay so this is the code after we have included the library which is keypad.h then we are going to define the the number of rows and the and the the column this is where we define it and remember in the in our simulator we are making use of four by three which is four rows three column so if you are making use of four by four uh, keypad which is four row four column <coughs> you define it here so but my my keypad in our simulator is four by three which is four row and three columns you can see where we describe it here these are the comments that shows what <coughs> these are the comment that shows what this is all about okay so this is our row we are just we are defining this is a constant okay and this is a data type then this is the name that we gave to show that this is the, the 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 type of keypad that we are working with which is uh, four row and three column so we are going to make use of an array and i have not taught you about array but in our upcoming lessons we are going to discuss about arrays so this array that you are seeing here is is what is being printed in our in the in our key in our keypad if you have any type of any symbol that maybe you you, you buy a, you buy any keypad and it has a different symbols you can come here and change it depending on what you want it to be displaying i don't know if you get what i'm saying remember in our keypad we have one two three the way that it is labeled in the keypad that is where we are going to map it out in this code so whenever we press any keypad whatever that is written in that keypad is good is what is going to be printed in our monitor okay so here is where we define those things in our keypad you can see the pattern the way the thing is you can see the pattern and this is an array two-dimensional array okay and what we did here is we are this is the the array name this is a data type we are we are using a, a character data type okay and this is the the name which is keys and this we define the row and the column okay this is the row you see it we have row one row two row three and row four and the column is row three uh, we have three columns which is column one column two and column three okay the way our keypad is being arranged so this is where we we define those things using an array then we now define another data type which is byte and in this byte we gave, we gave it a name this is where we declare the the pins where we connected our uh, keypad this is where we declare the pins that we connect our keypad so this is where we you can see the name that i give to this array this is an, this is also an array this is where uh, the name that i give to this array is row pin then i if i i put row here which shows that you are making use of four row you understand so this row here means four okay and we define the pin this is the pin we the first row one is connected to pin nine row 2 is connected to pin 8 row 3 is connected to pin 7 and row 4 is connected to pin 6 you can see where i, I wrote down the comment this is the comment okay then we now come back we now I come back to the column which i also give a uh, an, a data type which is byte then call it column pins i'm showing you this is a pin the pin declaration of the of our keypad okay and i also put columns which signify this one which is we are making use of is telling the compiler this is the number of column in the keypad okay then we now define the pins which the column which the column pin is being connected to so column one is connected to pin five 
column 2 is connected to pin 4 and column 3 is connected to pin 3 so this is the key and uh, the the pin that we are making use of in the keypad okay then we now define the class so i want you to see this class are just like normal variable but in actual in actual way we pronounce it is we call it class but i want you to see it just like a variable you just a representer and this is the class this name you can give it any name we just call the keypad function the keypad library which is this one this one is the keypad library we now gave it a class the name that we want to refer the library to so that whenever we call the library with the function that is with it the compiler will see okay see where to locate it remember this is the library name which is this keypad and when i gave it a name key i can give it any name this here i can give any i can put any name here so this name just just stands as a variable this name just is referring to this thing so whenever we call this name the compiler will know that we are we want to assess this library we want we want to assess this library okay this library here so this name is just standing as this library we can give it any name like i said so now and we call it class so we want to differentiate it from library uh, variables because we can't call it variables but i want you to see it as variable it's just acting like a variable but there is a little bit difference okay because it's making use of library that's why we, ca we are calling it class we are not calling it variables okay so remember this is the name of our class then we now say key part we now open this bracket we now use key map this is a key map that comes with the uh, uh, the keypad library we also have a a, a a key map that comes with the the arduino but this one is is this one comes with the with the keypad library okay we are going to talk about mapping in in upcoming lessons how to use map a mapping function in arduino but this mapping is this 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 type of mapping comes with the keypad is not the arduino function okay so this one comes with the, the library of this keypad so we now we now say that we are making keypad we, are, we want to map this thing that we just defined here with with our keypad our physical keypad this is what we use to map it <coughs> and remember this thing now the name which we <coughs> sorry for that the name which we use to refer to this thing that we just defined here is this name called key key is here that is the name so you can use any name you like so whenever we want to refer to this thing that we just defined here we call it by this key so we now use the key map that comes with the keypad library and we now say we are going to make use of this mapping here it's going to refer to this thing that we just defined here to map it with the numbers of pins the our pin which is this thing the pins and the color and how many and which type of um, keypad we are making use of okay remember this row means four this four here okay and this code means this three here so we are telling this thing that we are going to make use of this thing now you can see we are see we are going to make use of this thing let it map this thing which is the name is key to these pins the row pin and the column pin and tell it the the type of keypad we are using that is what this thing all about here means okay hope you understand it then we now come to voice setup we now say serial.begin because we want to print the information in our serial monitor okay so we now set the board uh, the board rate which the serial communication the speed the 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 two this thing we we communicate this is that is what serial.begin means and the board rate this is the speed then we now come to void loop we now use character key get key this is one of the functions that comes with this uh, uh, library okay you see we are calling this name this library name which is keypad okay when i say keypad dot get key this this get key is a function that is included in this library which i showed you where they wrote it okay so we're not making use of this name we use this name to refer we are telling the compiler this name is referring to this library you should go to this library and get this key uh, get key function so we use this get key function to to detect a press from the keypad okay so we now say if key 
which is this this is the name so we just thought the, the information that is getting from here this is just like normal analog read or digital read in in, in terms of a uh, keypad and library this is what it 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 acts like it, this thing is acting like a uh, digital read or analog read okay so we now store it in this information now this is a variable that we are storing this the what we are reading from this thing okay so we now say if key so what if we press any key it should print it in the serial monitor so whenever we press any key it will print it in the serial monitor that is serial dot print line key so whatever we press in our keypad it is going to print in the serial monitor so that is all this is just a simple code so that is all about that is uh, all about this explanation of the code okay i hope you understand what i mean in this thing so in our next video we are i'm going to show you how to interface this keypad with an lcd but now we are going we are going to make use of serial monitor so if you're using an actual uh, if you're using an actual um arduino board the physical board and the physical keypad whenever you connect the thing you can view it through this serial monitor here but if you are making use of our simulator which is Proteus I'm going to show you uh, you saw you saw what we use the virtual terminal okay we use the virtual terminal to display the information that we are getting okay so that is all about this lesson so in our last le in our next uh, lesson I will show you how to use this keypad in LCD display thank you for watching see you later